in the bleak midwinter. Frosty wind, mild mild. Earth stood hard as iron. Water, like a stone. Now then, so today's impression tutorial is Arthur Shelby from Peaky Blinders. If you haven't seen the first two videos in this series, please do go check them out because they will be referenced here. I'm going to give some hints and tips as to how to start and perfect an Arthur Shelby impression. And then also, I'm going to do a case study on comedic characterization of an impression. Please drop a like on this video and suggest a next impressions tutorial in the comments section. But let's get into it. So I would say that Arthur is probably one of the easier ones um, from the Peaky Blinders. Um, there isn't a huge amount of resources out there, I'm afraid. Uh, so your best bet is probably Netflix. I would just recommend re-watching the series and repeating the lines along with him. There's a couple of words that I use to get into the Arthur Shelby. Bloik. Tommy. Right. Tommy. Right. Bloik. That's right, Tommy. It's fucking bloik. The accent is fairly strong brummy, but with a hint of Cockney. Paul Anderson, the actor, is originally from London and every so often it filters through. But he tends to hit certain words with a very strong Birmingham accent. Right. This place is under no management. By order of the Peaky Blinders. The tone, like most of my characters, is deep and croaky and it comes from fairly low down. So Arthur's body language is very different to Tommy's. He has very intense eyes like Alfie Solomon's, but it's more out of control. When he walks, he's got these swinging arms, so there's a bit more body movement there. He's not in control of his emotions. He's volatile. There's a bit of shake in there, heavy breathing. He could snap at any moment. Unlike some of the other Peaky Blinder characters, I find with Arthur, it's easier to sort of have a looser jaw. Right, there's quite a lot of mouth movement. Slacking that jaw, boy. Especially if it's a tense piece of dialogue. Try and tailor the Arthur that you're doing to the situation that he is in. Um, old testament. So he varies between very aggressive and loud. This place. Short bursts, very emphatic. But he changes a lot when he talks to Tommy. It's more sheepish. That's, uh, that's right, Tommy. No, you're right. It won't. It won't happen again. It's quieter, less confident, tails off, and it's a bit mumbly. Find that flitting between the two of those gets across a really good Arthur. Uh, get out of my pub. Right, sorry about that, Tommy. Impressions are only really worthwhile in aid of comedy. So, you want them to be funny. For most impressions, you want to be looking for the comedic angle that best suits that character. For example, Morgan Freeman has a very iconic, high concept voice. He plays Red in Shawshank, he plays God in Bruce Almighty. So the classic way to make this funny is by juxtapositioning that high concept voice by getting him to talk about very mundane, dull things. I was there, brushing my teeth with my electric toothbrush, just packed itself in. I've been using it as a manual ever since. Very funny stuff. With Arthur, I find the best comedic angle to go for is to characterise him as a child. A child that when Tommy isn't around, is always trying to bully the other kids and uh, big himself up. But when Tommy is there, he retreats back into his shell and goes all sheepish and embarrassed. That's right. This tree house is under no management. Arthur, what's, what's going on here, Arthur? Right, uh... Yeah, Tommy. Sorry about that. Uh, Arthur, give him his ball back. Tommy. Oh, there you go. I don't want you to apologise. Sorry, John. So when you learn a new character, uh, try and think about how that character perceives itself and also how other people perceive that character and think what would be the most humorous 180 degree flip that you can flip between. Uh, to try and make the impression funnier. But that's my case study on finding a comedic angle for an impression. Another example, uh, Jon Snow is quite naive, but if you hype that up so that he's really, really stupid, it makes what he says sound funnier. What do you mean I know nothing? 
All right, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So finally, I'm gonna give you a caricature learning frame uh, that you can repeat along with so that you can start practicing an Arthur Shelby impression. In the bloik, midwinter, frosty wind, my mound, earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone, snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bloik, midwinter, long ago. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and leave a comment suggesting what impressions tutorial you would like next. I'll see you next time.